What happens when someone in power tries to suppress a student's identity? Amara, a confident and creative young girl, faced this question head on. What started as a demand from her teacher became a powerful movement that shook an entire school. Stay tuned, because this story will leave you inspired. Meet Amara, a 14-year-old high school sophomore who isn't just smart and talented. She's proud of her roots and her identity. Her hair, it's more than just a style. It's a statement of her culture and self-expression. Amara finishes her hair, smiles in the mirror, and grabs her backpack and set off to school. Amara walking into her bustling school hallway greeting friends. But not everyone saw Amara's hair the way she did. Mrs. White, her English teacher, had her own ideas about what was acceptable in her classroom. Mrs. White enters. She's an older woman, stern-faced, with a clipboard in hand. She notices Amara's hair and narrows her eyes. Her disapproval is evident. Um, Amara, can I speak with you in the hallway? The class falls silent. Amara hesitates, but follows her teacher into the hallway. What came next was something Amara never expected. Amara, your hair is mm, d distracting. It's not appropriate for a classroom setting. I'll need you to change it by tomorrow. Eyes widening in disbelief. S excuse me, my hair is distracting? This is how it grows out of my head. It's part of my culture. It might be part of your culture, but in my classroom, we focus on learning, not making statements. Mrs. White's words cut deep. Amara felt small, humiliated. How could something so personal and beautiful be seen as wrong? Amara walks away, her head hanging low. She tries to hold back tears. Amara, what's wrong? You haven't touched your dinner. Hesitant, then blurting out, my teacher told me to change my hair. She said it's distracting. Anger flashes across her face. She said that? Oh no, honey. This is bigger than just you. This is about standing up for who you are, and I'm here for it. Amara's mom wasn't about to let this slide. She rallied their family and community for support. The next day, Amara wasn't alone. Her classmates, regardless of their backgrounds, stood with her. Together, they sent a clear message. Individuality should be celebrated, not silenced. Mrs. White watches as students file into the classroom, each with bold hairstyles. So, are we all getting sent to the principal, or are you going to teach? Says one of the students. Mrs. White looks flustered, but says nothing. Principal Martinez. I've reviewed the situation and Amara's hairstyle doesn't violate any school policy. In fact, the Crown Act protects her right to wear her natural hair without discrimination. Mrs. White, defensive. I wasn't discriminating. I just thought it was too unconventional for the classroom. Principal Martinez. Unconventional, Mrs. White. Education is about embracing differences, not suppressing them. I encourage you to take this as an opportunity to grow. Mrs. White had a choice, cling to her old ways or open her mind to the diverse world around her. And she chose to grow. Mrs. White began to see her students not just as learners, but as individuals with unique stories and cultures. Amara walks into the classroom the next day. Mrs. White greets her with a warm smile. Mrs. White, Amara, I want to apologize. I didn't understand before, but I'm learning. Your hair is beautiful and, and so are you. Amara smiles, her expression a mix of surprise and relief. To celebrate their newfound unity, the school organized a cultural appreciation day. Amara led a workshop on the history and significance of black hairstyles, teaching others the beauty of her heritage. Mrs. White is seen sporting a simple braided style, symbolizing her solidarity. Amara beams with pride as she speaks to a crowd. 
Amara's courage sparked change, not just in her school, but in the hearts of those around her. It's a reminder that standing up for yourself can inspire others to do the same. Thank you for watching. If this story touched you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more inspiring content. Let's spread positivity and celebrate what makes us all unique.